Next thing we need to do is resize the box project uh, for whatever we need. So uh, if you're doing a, doing a shoe box, for example, you need to make sure that it is an appropriate size for a shoe box. Uh, we can print pretty large. Um, we don't want to have any panels that are any bigger than uh, 10 inches, however. So I'm going to check this. This is all grouped again. So I'm going to go into isolation um, and select this rectangle. I can click up here where it says transform, or if you're on a large screen, you might actually have your width and your height all displaying here. Uh, in this case, my height is uh, just under 6 inches. Now, are there precision ways to d get this thing all the right size that I need it to be? Yes, there are. But we're going to do a guess and check method, um, which is a little bit faster for us. So I've zoomed out, and I'm going to go ahead and make this um, larger. Now, when I go to make this larger, I've selected the whole thing, and the big key here is that I have to hold down shift and stretch. If I don't hold down shift, and I end up squishing my template like that, that's not going to fold together properly. So I have to make sure, big key, have to make sure that I uh, hold down shift. I'm going to stretch that slightly larger, go back into isolation on this one particular shape, and check transform, and I can see that my height is now 7.7, .7, about 7.8, so I will stretch a little bit larger in the other direction. Go back into isolation, check my transform, um, I'm about 8.3. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. You can go as large as 10 inches on your largest panel, no bigger than 10 inches, then we won't have room on the printer. Um, some box templates do get a little bit floppy when it is bigger than 10 inches, so do be careful uh, when choosing a size. Now, before I can call this done, I'm going to get my artboard tool and I'm going to stretch this piece of paper sitting behind my template to make it slightly larger than my template size. Okay, I don't need it a lot bigger and the exact measurements don't matter at all. Um, it just needs to be bigger, slightly bigger than my box template. Now I'm ready to go ahead and get to work on my design.